Hi my loves, today I have a different video for you. I'm going to actually show you how I'm going to set up my personal planner. Today I was supposed to schedule up my plan with me that I did yesterday and unfortunately I can't find the footage. <laughs> I exported it to my computer and it's gone. It's gone and I can't find it so I don't want to just leave everyone high and dry so I'm going to go ahead and film this instead and try to get it up for you today crossing fingers if I don't have any problems. Okay, so this is my six ring personal planner from Recollections. It was a Recollection brand from Michaels. I had this um, for a while now since they first came out. And this was my spring and summer planner of 2016. So I took everything out from the black one, which I'm gonna show you here. I actually just transferred everything that was in here to it so this is the one here so i transferred everything to that one and now i am going to set it up for the summer because i didn't get anything on time for the spring so that was on me so let's go ahead and set it up this summer i want to have the mermaid theme i think it would go great so there's going to be a lot of diys involved with this so if you're a diy person then you will love it if you're not then i'm sorry but i love to do diys and yeah i'm creative that way okay so first things first i sent some footage was it footage or pictures really to instagram um, earlier in the spring of me doing my own DIY um, dividers and these are it here I actually got this mermaid pad from it's a 12 by 12 and it is from the hot deals from Michaels and I loved it and I've been doing a lot of things with it I actually did as well a folder so this is how it looks in the inside. I actually even cut the slits so I can have the pockets and it is laminated. So yeah, for my first time, I really did enjoy making this and it came out awesome. So I want to see if I could actually put this in there, of course these and everything else that I have without having it too packed. So I want to start off by just starting on the back side so these are the papers that i want to put into the secretarial pockets i don't know which side i'm going to actually put them on but this is also a paper from that same pad and in fact this is just one big sheet as you can see it's just an ombre of a lot of colors going into each other and i think that looks really pretty i don't know which one to put and i also cut the corners well, round off the corners and a lot of my stuff that I did here with this Becky Higgins um, cutter. I think I, okay, I think I'm going to leave this for the back pocket. And this is like too much of the same color and you know how much I like contrast. So I'm going to push it in here. Okay, that's good. Oh, I like that. Okay. I like that. It has the greens and the darker blues with the gold color of the shell itself. See, I like that. So that's good there. This and this. So, I just cut a piece of cardstock. That's what they are. From the same pad of the shell. And I wanted to put it in here so I cut it long enough but I don't know I was missing something I went to Michaels and I purchased this here this was from their enchanting collection and it's the mermaid one I love these these are so beautiful so I think it goes this way 
something like this. And it's so pretty. This kit is so pretty. I love all these washies. So gorgeous. So I'm so glad that I picked this up. And of course, I'm putting it back in the tube upside down. But that is fine. So I took that and I decided to just start layering up some of the washi. And I'm sorry that I didn't get to film any of my DIYs that I did for this. But um, I was doing this most of the time when I was on bed rest for my injections. So when I get bored being in bed, I like to just start crafting. And I craft from my bed. And... Yeah, I can't just put my tripod on the bed and show it, so I'm sorry about that. It was very, very easy to do. I just took the color washes that I wanted to put here, and I knew I wanted to bring in this color with the seashells because of this. You see? This is where this color comes into play. So, and of course you got the gold and the turquoise um, glitter, and then this one here says, nice sparkle you got there. So we all know that mermaids love sparkly things, so I think that went well. So yeah, I like how that turned out, and it fits perfectly there, so you can see there. So this pad here is the original pad that I had in my personal planners. I don't use this, but I just use it to take up room you know I don't like to see it blank so what I did to make it more of a mermaid theme I took some more of the washi let me show you this is how it looks originally looks it's black with gold and then black down here so I just took the washi from the row and put it under to cover the black area and I took the same one from here down here to bring in more of the peachy tones and I just took a sticker that I got as a freebie. So I think this here turned out awesome. I don't use this pad, like I said. It's just there to take up space. So it goes in here. And you can still see the cards from there. So that turned out well. I love how my daughter actually loved that. She's like, you're so crafty and you should be recording these stuff. But I'm like, I'm in bed. I can't really do it. So I think this is a great idea if you have the same um, notepad and you want to change up the theme. But you don't want to buy another pad or you just want to just decorate the first page like I did. This works well. So that is that. So as for a pen, I am going to put back the same pen that I had before and I switch it from this one to the black one because I really do love this pen. I know it has silver, but it's fine. And this is a Swarovski crystal um, pen. It's a really beautiful pen. So I just keep it there like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the inside of the guts of the planner. I'm gonna definitely put back my pocket. It's also purchased when I purchased the planner last year. So what I like to put in the last um, tab is my YouTube video tracker which says here filmed, thumbnail, edit, and posted. I actually got this as a free printable. I don't remember offhand. And this here is an online order tracker. I actually got this from wonderfuldesign.com and I also got her bill dues. So it's from the month and then you just put everything down here. And then I have just the to-do list that came with the planner and some extra line pieces of paper. So that is always in the back of the planner. And by the way, I do have my AC on. If you hear that little humming noise, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So as for the back tab, which is my last tab, I usually only have three tabs in my planner. I don't use more than that. So uh, this here is um, another piece of the 12 by 12 stock paper from that pad. And it also comes with like little things like that you could cut out and put on here. But what I did was I glued it on and then I laminated on top of it. Same thing with the tab. I actually put this piece of paper into my silhouette and I designed um, some shells and I just pass it through and have the silhouette cut it for me. And I did 
a mirror image of it so that I could glue it in the back and I laminate it like this. So the only thing that I wish I would have done was make it double sided. But I didn't think about that when I was actually um, doing the process of laminating it and getting it done. So that is that. I do love what it says here and I do love the mermaids and it's just so funny that I love beachy themes and I like mermaid and sea themes but I hate the sand. I can't stand the sand. I'm sorry. I hate the way it feels and I don't like it. So on to the second tab. My second tab consists of my weeklies. So what I have are my so much crafting inserts and I also have some principles. So let me just go ahead and explain what's going on in here. I've been having my inserts and I think June this month is the last month of this and I think I am not well, no, I'm not thinking. No, no, that's a lie. I know I'm not going to purchase these again. I do love the format. I do love how buttery soft this paper is, but I do not like the fact that I can't remove a sticker without buying undo. That's, that is just too much work for me. So on that note, I decided not to order anymore. And I ended up uh, researching online what shop on Etsy has almost a similar style, you know, like vertical, the block, and the sidebar here, because that style, this style here, I am in love with it, I do love it, and I like planning like that, so I searched and searched, and I found a shop, and it's the Chick Chick Principles, and she had an affordable file to purchase that is a similar um, style and this is how they look so the only thing that is different is obviously the font and also was obvious that it does not have a date or month so yeah and it was so easy to follow to cut and print it on both sides so as you can see they are continuously one behind the other and I love it and I actually have um, a thicker copy paper and I bought this copy paper in Walmart and if I can find the link to it I will link it down below so yeah I actually like that so I'm gonna go ahead and use these from now on like I said I am NOT going to order any more weekly what should I say week on two um, inserts from so much crafting sorry but I'm over it basically so here is the tab for the weeklies which I am in love with it I love this gold foil seahorse and I love what it says here treasure from the sea I love that the blue scaling of like mermaid scale um, paper has on the green and the gold I just love it I just love how that looks so I have as my front sheet for my monthly is this 2017 year at a glance calendar from a wonderful design it is a free printable so you can actually print it out and it comes in different sizes basically you can print it out for your personal for your a5s it you know you can go ahead and work around this the scaling to fit for your planner I love that and of course I have here which I am running out this is the last month of my so much crafting inserts of her monthly I do love her monthlies that's one thing that I am NOT going to stop purchasing I love her monthlies it's so much easier for me to plan in her monthly than it is in her week on two pages so with that being said I don't have any more months until well this month is the last insert so I have to go ahead and order some more inserts so that is that and those are the only things I have for my monthly tab so I'm going to go ahead and insert that top tab which is this one here I love this one I think this one's probably my favorite I'm not sure I'm not sure but I really love this peachy pink color with the gold I do love how that turned out so now moving on I don't know if I want to go ahead and add the folder on top of here 
or should I put it in the back? Hmm. But the back has a pouch. I'm going to go ahead and put it on top here. As for the guts of the planner, it is done. So before I close it, I want to add my tassel. This is a tassel that I purchased from Three Glitter Peas. And it's so beautiful. It's the mermaid one and it's so beautiful. But the difference is that it didn't come with this attachment here. It actually came with a paper clip. This is a paper clip um, tassel. I don't like it as a paper clip. So what I did, I took the actual string from the Michael's tassel and I clipped it to the yarn here. And of course, I left my initial there. It's A. Um, I purchased this at Michael's in the jewelry section. And I'm going to keep it here. And then that's how it looks. I love that much more than having it on a paper clip. So let's go ahead and move on to the front side. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. So there it is inside the pocket, and I do love this color combination. It's gorgeous. It just screams summer to me. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the pockets here. I have this cutout of the same paper of the back, and I did similar um, washi tape layering as I did for the back one, but this time I actually put the one that says here, Always Be a Mermaid. And I think that looks so cute. I love this washi. So I just cut this part enough to fit there perfectly. Look at that. I think that looks so pretty. This washi is gorgeous. And for this pocket, or this pocket, I think this pocket here. Okay, I have this here, which is the same um, paper as the tabs itself, which looks like mermaid scales to me. And I cut it, I think to put it here. Or was it here? Um, I don't know if it's here. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it here. Yeah, I'm going to keep it there. Okay, so that piece there, I didn't do any washi layering because I think the foil itself is enough attention to it. So the next thing I wanted to put in the pocket is this um, sticky tabs from Michaels and it's a little mermaid theme here. I purchased it just because of the colors and of the theme. And I am definitely probably won't even use it. It's just to keep it in the pocket. What pocket should I use it? Okay, it has to be this one here. So there. That looks actually really good. I love the colors. It goes perfectly with everything I have in here. I love this. Okay, so here comes the cute factor. I have this and this. These two paper clips came from Run With Craft Scissors. Her name is Leslie, the owner. And I actually had this one customized for me. It came out beautifully. And of course I purchased it because the colors that I needed. I needed a gold with a turquoise. And this was just um, an extra for me that I found in her shop that I loved. This little seahorse here is so freaking cute. Gorgeous. I know I want to keep him here because I have to have one in the front. Should have put them here. No, because then it's going to block the tabs. No. Okay, I'm going to keep it here. Okay, so freaking cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. So, I'm going to probably put it in this pocket here. That is cute. Okay. So I have these two, which are so 
gorgeous. These are from Three Glitter Peas, the same shop that I ordered the tassel. And I'm going to put... Oh, it's white. I don't want it to get dirty. But it says here, I'm sorry I didn't read it to you, it says Mermaid at Heart. And... Oh, I like that there, but I need to clip it. Okay. And then for the actual mermaid. Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. I don't know if I want her here. No, no, no. I think I'm going to put her up here as well. Okay, that's cute. Okay, so... I have two more here. This is another one from uh, Three Glitter Peas. And this one here was a freebie. Thank you, Leslie. Um, when I ordered these two from Runway Craft Scissors. And it's so pretty. I do want to use it. I don't know if I want to use it as a bookmark. Let me see. I could put it as a bookmark. Yeah, I think that looks cute there. Okay, so this one, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Should I put it there? It would look weird. This one says it's a mermaid thing, and I don't know where to put it. Should I put it in the back? Like here, or I don't know. Mm. Okay, maybe I should put. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to use, as you can see, I'm running behind on my monthlies, but I'm going to use this one here for my monthly okay and then it's pinched okay no I did that wrong okay I'm gonna put it there and then put this one here how does that look I've got to push this over huh it's the first time actually doing it on film. It usually takes me like a couple of days to actually put it how I like it and keep it there. So how does that look? I mean, I like it. It's not white. So I don't have to worry about it getting too dirty versus this one hanging out. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. So I think she's done. Yeah. She's done. So this is how it turned out in the front. I really do like this. This came out really, really nice. Okay, so and then you go from here to my folder and my first tab, which is my monthly, and then my second tab, which is my weekly, and then my third tab, which is to track. And then behind that, it's my pouch and the back view. I think this turned out great. I really, really do love how it turned out. So, let me see how it looks this way. Yeah, I like that. I really do. I really, really do. And then that, right, so. So, this is it, guys. I think it turned out great. If you do too, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I really, really do love it. Oh my God, I'm excited to use it now. Maybe now I won't just abandon my personal spreads. Okay, so yeah, I have nothing else to say besides I love each and every single one of you. And of course, take care of each other and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.